everyone, Alexa Dunn here, and today I'm coming at you with a quick writing hack, which is to read nonfiction in order to develop your ideas and your world building. This is essentially a research and brainstorming tool, and it has been one of my go-tos for years. There's no better way to strengthen your fiction and the depth of your ideas than to use the truth, essentially. They say that truth is stranger than fiction, and I certainly find this to be true. I love reading various nonfiction sources, whether that's long-form journalism articles, whether it's nonfiction books, historical books, memoirs. It could also mean watching a documentary or just falling down a wiki hole. There are so many ways to ingest non-fiction information about the past, the present, weird microcosms of society, and you'd be amazed at the inspiration you can find from those things. And not only inspiration, but facts. It's a great idea to do research, period, when you're writing about something, to lend more layers and depth to your fictional world, and there's no better way to do that than by reading non-fiction. I always read nonfiction books, no matter what the project is, but especially when I'm working on fantasies, I like to look to various historical time periods and figures for inspiration. It could be reading a biography of a historical figure, which inspires you to create a main character who shares some aspects of that real life person, incredible things that happened in their life that people won't even believe if you fictionalize it. I also find that reading nonfiction lends depth and layers to political systems, especially in world building. When you read nonfiction, it's incredible how complex politics, war, espionage, all sorts of things are in terms of how they impact countries and history and individuals. And so I find that reading those things really helps me to work harder on my fictional worlds to make them feel equally as complex. As you read nonfiction, I advise jotting down notes in whatever way feels organic to you, whether it's physically on a piece of paper or on an app on your phone or in a doc in your Scrivener file. Jot down kind of the bits and pieces, the things that surprised you, that shocked you, the too good to be true type details, or just the kind of how XYZ works kind of details. You can do nonfiction reading and come back to it years later. So it's a good thing to take notes so that you don't forget. So books that you read six years ago might come in handy for a project now, and that way you don't necessarily have to reread it though. Of course you could as well. So that is my writing hack, that as writers we should not just be reading fiction, but should also be reading a healthy dose of non-fiction. Let me know down below in the comments any questions you have about this or what some of your non-fiction reads are. What have you read that has inspired you to write? I'll share some of my favorites down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will make more videos in the writing hack series. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, I post two to three times a week. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, guys, happy writing.